good YouTube boy star bus pictures to see all this city JJ Jordan Jockey. Yes, you know by now. But this video has been long overdue. I know I saw some videos this a long time ago. I kept forgetting. But I had did my um top five worst um Jordan models, but yeah, you would never see me on that. You know, it goes from the most hated to least hate, whatever. And now I guess I'm gonna do my top five. I don't have my Jordan card on me, ain't no pictures right now. But I mean, the shoes I'm just, I'm a name offhand. Y'all should know by now. I don't. I got the shoes in the closet, but it's too much of a hassle going to get them. So I think a lot of people should know what I'm talking about. Basically, I'm gonna do like I did with the worst. I'm gonna go from five all the way up to one. Basically, five is the one I would like the least all the way up to the, my, my top favorite. Number five would be the Air Jordan 4. And I know a lot of people looking at me like, oh, stop, boy, what the fuck are you talking about? Number five, like I said, it's my opinion. This is my top five. Basically, I like three. I got, I picked up damn near all the good colors last year. The only two I didn't get was the black flips and the white cement. I'm getting the white cements, but I just ain't had time to pick them up. I mean, they're, they don't run for too much. And plus, I sh that I, I could have got them the first thing like this. They was on shelf for a minute, which, which shocked me. Because the package, that was first the first three that came with that packaging with the uh, cement paper, the old retro box. And that was the only three last year that came with the uh, the hang the plastic hang tag. And what shocked me, everybody thought the black cement was going to get It is what it is. And I got the stealth, so which is a lot of people don't like. I like it, but I told you before when I reviewed it that I didn't like it for 160 So I waited till it dropped down to like $9. Number four, the Air Drop Box. Mm, a lot of colorways I like it. Um, Ain't been retro yet. I told you I got the metallic five and I got the USA five. USA five, I got them on sale. I told you I didn't really want to get them because they're white pattern leather, but they were on sale and I liked them. I just don't like the pattern leather, so I couldn't turn that down. And I'm waiting for them to hopefully they'll retro the, uh, the original five is all white with the black bottom and the little red speck. The one that came with the countdown pack. And hey, if they virtual the other fire red, I don't know why they both call fire red, I don't understand. With the red midsole, I cop them too, but I'm not a big fan of I want the grapes. I, I pray to God they release them that next year, like they say, like they, this big Twitter came out that naming all these shoes that got aired on for this year, and all the shoes are supposed to come out next year. Eventually, going to be five and eight and shit like that. But it is. Number three. Now these is getting to the ones that I, I like top three that I love to death. Thirteens. Thirteens, man, that's all around great shit. Like I don't know one fucking color where that shoe that ain't good. High top. Low tops, I ain't like not one fucking color. I don't like that. I, yeah, yeah, I mean I like them for that, but hey, I don't care. I don't like the navy blue with the black. I don't like the gingers. Uh, I don't like the low top white and red ones they retro. I don't like none of them. And what's uh, the bleeds? Not the uh, the Chicago ones. The other ones. The burgundy with the gray toes. They call them gray toes or blue. The bleeds. Either or. But I want them to retro them. But retro them with the original color. Cause that a lot of people don't know that was a sample color from the the original. The originals. That was the sample color. It was lighter gray, and it was it was um, bright red. It wasn't burgundy. So every single color was good, but they never retro the uh, the Jesus show where he got games. They put them in a the countdown pack, but they never particularly retro them like to come up by themselves. That's the only reason I didn't get those. And now that's my favorite color. The only reason I didn't get them because I don't I don't like the tints and I don't like the shadow tints. Sorry, I don't. I just like them Chicago's and the Powers. It's only two I like. If they get the Powers, I'll, I'll get them too. But they didn't, so. And the Black and Reds. They supposedly supposed to be added this year. And my little brother had been fiending for them for three years. He's about to drop. Thank God he did. He's about to drop $500 for them. That's how bad he wants his favorite show of all time. But they supposedly supposed to be added on this year. We're hoping for they do. Number two. 
the 12. I talked to you about that previously. I got the cherries, the retros. I want the OGs. I can't find them yet. But I'm, I'm, I'm damn sure I'm going to get them. And I was about to buy the OG Obsidian, but now it's no point to buy them or the playoffs. Because they're retro and all of them. But playoffs come out April. The Obsidians come out June. Then they added a, a colorway I've been dreaming about for years. Cool gray. Cool gray 12. And they're going to do the taxes later on in the year. So that's an easy cop all for you. You ain't got to ask me about those. And come on, I don't think I should have to tell you all this. My number one sneaker of all time, not just a Jordan, but my favorite sneaker of all time, period. And of course, the Jordan, the Air Jordan 11. And y'all already know my favorite color wave, the cool grab, and told everybody that. But I think that's the most iconic shoe in shoe history. And I know people want to say they're mad, cause, but that's not considered a, sh a shoe per se because it was a movie concept. It was a prototype. They just released it because everybody filmed it for 20 years. So, of course, that's technically the most iconic shoe of all time. But in a sense of a release shoe, it's the Air Jordan 11. So, I mean, you seen what happened with the Concord last year. I mean, fuck that. You see what happened with them every year they release them. But the Concord is the most, the craziest one that ever happened. Like, people actually got, they didn't get, they didn't get killed, but people got shot for ran in their house and robbed before them. People get robbed every day for shoes nowadays, like going back to the 90s, but that was where it started at. Like, at least around where I live at, it started at, you know what I mean? But, just want to make this video to get it out the way. And keep making videos until I fall the fuck asleep. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, and I'll be back.